Leica have released a James Bond themed Q2. Leica. Do you like them? I like her a lot. I like her, I like her a lot. Everyone's favourite rich boys. <clears throat> the, only, the thing to like about Leica yeah. is that uh, I'd like her afford it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, the Leica Q2 is about £4,000 for a camera that doesn't deserve its price tag. But it's Leica, so they can kind of like her charge what they want her. Yeah. They can good. charge what they like her. Yeah, charge what they like her. <laughs> um, Leica have released a James Bond themed Q2. Right, that's ridiculous because mm. they're, they're, they're kind of top end. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, now, when I think of top end companies that do this sort of thing, I think about Amiga. Amiga. Yeah. Yeah, they did very similar with mm -hmm. James Bond the last time around with like a NATO strap on their watch. Yeah. It was good. Aston Martin. But generally, I think sort of Toys R Us. <laughs> Bad computer games. Yeah. Yeah. And you try to make yourself relevant with it. Yeah. Oh, right. Or so, oh, like breakfast cereal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Oh, what happened to breakfast cereal where you used to get stuff inside? Yeah. Well, there was a few As reasons. As a kid, I would eat those horrible Rice Krispies, Snap, Crackle and Pop, just to get the toy. That was the problem sugary cereal and we would just eat it just to get the toy and yeah. they realized this is causing problems like oh. diabetes um yes Leica have released the james bond version of the q2 they've only made 250 of them it's probably a good thing well they've already sold out what um and get this the Leica q2 is about four and a half grand the james bond version is Seven thousand. No, that. Why are they? And done I'll show you a picture here, Pete. There you go. That's what you get. Oh, yeah. You get the um. <laughs> you get a uh, James Bond lens cap. It says 007 on the camera, and and. Oh my God! This is like one of my favourite in between the lines. It comes in a briefcase. Wow. That is special. Just like everyone knows James Bond, he's big on briefcases. Yeah, I've, I've seen there's so many James Bond films where he's walking around with a, with a briefcase. briefcase. Yeah, yeah. It's just that's, he's synonymous with a briefcase. It's because he's so British. Yes. But he better have an umbrella too. Oh yeah. gosh. Um, so, would you spend twice the amount of money, let's say? Well, it's pretty much his, isn't it? It's on a limited yeah. edition James Bond camera? No. This is for people with way too much money. I don't, I, who does that? People with too much money. And I, I just don't know what to say about it. It's a little bit worrying when a grown man goes, <laughs> not only did I get a Leica for work, I got a James Bond Leica. It puts you in a very, I mean, exclusive group, but also you, you know who they are straight away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You definitely do. Yeah. Can you imagine them? They're at, uh, they're shooting wildlife. They get together early morning. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that the James Bond edition? I know also the type of person that would get it. The kind of person, I'll set it, set it up. Okay. Who would buy a Rolex watch. Yeah. And then have a YouTube, YouTube channel about cameras. Yeah. And completely unrelated will find a way of putting that Rolex watch in the video so everyone knows. <laughs> And he'll say about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's the kind of person that would get a, like, a James Bond-themed camera. He liked this a lot. And he would just tell everyone about it. Yeah. Um, uh, if he wasn't sponsored by Canon, he would anyway. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. So what's that all about? We'll find out later. Yes. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to say who, because I'm not, you know, here to slag people off. No, no, no. we don't need to do that. No, but um, Pete McKinnon has made enough money already from plugins to be plugged. Yeah, so we're not going to mention names. No names. But definitely a certain type of person yeah. would be spending £7,000 on a James Bond camera. Yeah, watch out for the video title. <laughs> I can't believe what... It'll be some clickbait shit. Yeah. It's something like, I spent seven grand on a camera. Oops. Yeah. I look like a Bond. Like a Bond, yeah. yeah. Good I, title. Yeah. 
I like her it a lot. Yeah. So would you buy one? No. No, no. I, w- I wouldn't even buy a normal one. No, I wouldn't either. I, I like the fact that it's done a very good job of market position. Yeah, yeah. And that is it. That is do you it. Know, you wouldn't do it for the briefcase? No, definitely not. The briefcase is another reason why I definitely wouldn't do it. <laughs> and in fact, if you walk around with a briefcase day to day and it's got a camera in it, yeah. I hope you get pulled over by the old bill. <laughs> and ironically, it'll probably be MI6 that pull you over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine going to a train station with a briefcase like that and putting it down at a bench? Yeah. You are going to attract yeah, MI5. You, you, yeah, they're going to come for you. Are you a red fox? <laughs> red fox. The train leaves the station on platform B, said the squirrel. <laughs> That'd be £7,000, please. <laughs> And then they take your briefcase. All right, that's a James Bond edition. (laughs) 